Welcome back, Division Three at Anthony Wayne. Archbold and, Ever and the Evergreen Girls team out there. Oh, more Langender for feigning excitement. We appreciate that. You know who's not? Hayden Stam for Archbold. The hustle, we love that. Streaks come out of the gate quick. Tanner Wise knocks it in. Not to be outdone, Evan Wise. Oh, the Wiseman getting it done for the streaks, but Evergreen scrappy tonight. Matt Brighton working it, drops it in. It would take two free throws with nine seconds left where Archbold ekes out a 42-40 win. Deltra and Patrick Henry get a lot of neon tonight. A neon, exp oh, this is awkward. Panthers pushing it in the first. We're talking Delta Panthers. Matt Hudson Bueller with the scoop. Patriots push back though. Kurt Gibson to Colby Seaman. That's a three. And then Gibson not done. Dishes dimes. Cody Knopsinger, the recipient here. He drops it in. And Patrick Henry wins it 40 to 27. All right, Tim McMahon joins us now with the rest of D3 and D4 highlights. Tim. Yeah, Eric, let's just keep things rolling along. We're going to stay in the NBC, a battle of rivals there, Fostoria and Elmwood at Finley. Let's go to first half action. Fostoria's Brandon Glenn finding Elijah Hampton for the layup. This was a dandy. It would go back and forth. More from the Redmen. Adonis Cousin. He's going to knock down the corner three. That puts him up two in the second quarter. Elmwood would answer back in the form of Tyler Rosendale. He hits a three of his own from the wing. And then it's Zach Foster for the Royals. Nice pump fake, dribbling in, knocking down the jumper. Elmwood wins this one 64 to 62. Yeah, let's see the muscles. Eagles hot early. Adam Sitlack hit the three. That gives them a four point lead. Van Buren made it a game early. Justin Roberts pump fake. A lot of pump fakes here. Gets a hoop and a foul. Black Knights down, only won the first. More from Adam Sitlack, hitting another three for the Eagles. I, I like to say his full name. Slit Sitlack, not done, sharing it this time. Finds Mitchell Linhart down low. Liberty Benton wins big, 62-24. Division four, Maumee Valley Country Day and Ottawa Hills at Eastwood. Coach Jim Robinson, his final season, trying to extend it. Third quarter, Ottawa Hills down two. Jeffrey Bean ties it up with a long two. We're tied up at 30, fourth quarter now. Julius Turner getting the layup. Hawks go up four, beautiful. Two seconds to play now, Hawks up two. There you see it, inbound. Stolen by Rick Dykert and he gets fouled. Maumee Valley Country Day wins this one 42-39. They're gonna play Tiffin Calvert next. Big win for us. Last time we were down at the down at the last quarter by like 11 points, we came back and won that. We wanna come back and win this game too. They play hard every single game. There's no tomorrow at this time of the year, you know, so. More to do on Tuesday, district uh, tournament. Good to see Coach win again. Oh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Gibsonburg, Toledo Christian off a miss. Logan Jones gets a bucket. Gibsonburg down only a bucket. Josh Winsler, though, gets a ball back, gets a bucket. Nice pump fake underneath. PC up four. Then it's Eric Sellier. There, I said it right this time. Driving the lane, get the bucket. TC wins. 45 to 40. Finally, Hopewell Loudon and New Regal. Hopewell Loudon and New Regal. Do we have them coming up? Yes, we do. Game delayed after Ryan Schalk lost his lunch during introductions. He would be okay for New Regal. Brandon Reinhardt, he'd be okay as well. Getting the bucket underneath. And then it's a nice dish down low for Hopewell Loudon. Eric Defenick getting the bucket. And then Colin Snyder with the steal for New Regal. Just Stealing in there. Back to Zach. Pass to Zach. Oh boy, I'm gonna try and say our guys guy, whatever. Layup, he gets it. 58-54. New Regal wins that one. Eric, let's send it back to you. Do we pay you for this? No, I might lose my lunch. Okay. All right, there's a wastebasket. All right, coming up next, Andre Savage. Oh boy, Rogers. We'll talk about all that more stuff after the break.